All right, so previously we did the Trapinch and turned out pretty good. And this is the main project that I wanted to do, which would be the Stardust Dragon. And the game plan is I'm going to cut out the border of the Stardust Dragon. And then I'm going to layer it a little bit differently as opposed to when I did the Trapinch. The Stardust Dragon, I think my game plan is going to be I want to have, same as last time, Part of it is going to be in the forefront, which is going to be the wings. It's going to be a lot harder because it's so detailed, but I'm going to try to cut out the wings for the front part, and it's going to be attached to the border. And then the second wing is going to be on the second forefront, and it's going to be a little bit further back. And then the middle body piece I'm going to have sticking out with some sort of thing to prop it up. And we're going to figure out the wings in the back next. As... In regards to the actual foiling, I was going to use this super rare or ultra rare as actual foiling to for the body. But it seems like outside of his actual chest and the shoulder, I don't think the foiling really affects it. So I'm going to see how I cut it from there. And then as for the level stars, what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually try to cut out the level stars and put it onto there depending on how hard it is to cut. The wind circle element as well too. And then I'm going to cut out the text box uh, to make a shadow box as well. All right, so I made some progress. I cut out the wings. Just to point out, it's a little bit harder as opposed to when I was doing the trip inch because like I said, it's very, very, very detailed. So there's still some like parts that are green that are leaking through. But I tried my best to cut it. I haven't darkened the edges just yet, but I've noticed it's a little bit harder to do with this one. But we'll see how it turns out. I left a lot of the border on there and I actually cut out the boxes here. So what, what I notice is I'm going to end up cutting, I cut the text box, which looks okay. I'm going to have to cut a little bit more of the border depending on how it goes. And then what I realized was how the Stardust Dragon has the holographic background, which I think it really doesn't matter how... I use it. So what I think I'm going to do is I decide I'm going to use Starry Night Sky since I had a lot of them and I think the background looks really pretty. So we're going to see how that looks, which I think it looks okay. And then I'm going to darken the border. The difference between using a holographic one as opposed to a regular common Stardust Dragon, I know it's as well as because the holographic one, like I said, aside from the purple parts that are hollow, the actual body part itself is not hollow outside of like the outlining edges. But as for if you're actually cutting it out with the exacto knife, you're not really it's going to be really hard to keep those hollow parts and regardless, I'm going to be dimming it using a pen anyway, so I don't think it really have that much of an effect. So I might end up just end up cutting the hollow part out on the chest as well as the shoulder and then we'll go from there. One thing I might also end up doing as well too is I might end up uh, cutting the borders of a different card to add onto the border to make the edge border pop out. As well as I'm going to cut out an extra box for, for the name so that way it pops up as well too so it looks a little bit more 3D along with the level stars as well as the element symbol. One thing I wanted to point out as well too, if you're trying to do a shadow box for the actual text itself, because of how card centering works, you'll see how it doesn't align completely. So for me to actually have it aligned to a certain extent, I would have to shift it up and then part of the card will stick out, right? So I think what I might have to do is when I stick these two pieces of cards together for the first time, I might have to end up trimming the edges of the cards so that way it aligns. Or else if I try to actually line it up to the actual card, it just won't line up and look nice. So I might have to end up just lining it up this way, gluing it, and then just trimming the edge so it doesn't stick out and then going from there. All right, so we're making some progress. Uh, I haven't colored in most of the borders yet, but I did color in the some of it to see how it look. You see how the white border, some of it still needs to be colored. But what I ended up doing was actually layered in the front of the wings, so it makes it a little bit more 3D. So when it comes together, it'll look 
like that especially the fact that you're using a black border and you're coloring the edges so that way it gives it more of like a little bit of a 3d effect the only thing i would probably say is because of how the card is so you see here i've already done one wing so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna layer the second wing behind it and then so each wing i'll probably end up having two layers one with the front of the wing and one with the actual f i guess like the flaps of the wing itself so in total i would need two four six eight eight of them in total in order to get this done and then afterwards i'm gonna have to find some way in order to do actually the main body having it stick out it's gonna be a little bit more complicated but let's just see how it goes from there but so far i'm liking how it looks all right so after cutting out a bunch of spacers i ended up actually not using a lot of them because i realized when i'm doing the stardust dragon if i have too many spacers it actually takes away from the background and the having the background a little bit too dark if i could just light it up here yeah it just makes the dark background end up looking way too dark so i ended up just doing let's see the front layer is just three of them and after the three i have two here and i have one with the wing and then we layer the wing on top of the other one and one layer with the wing here the one thing i've noticed also is like these really thin ones kind of break really easily as well too and that wing which isn't too big of a deal once i kind of glue everything together and after that i have one okay and then this layer i ended up darkening the shadow chipping off some parts there and after that part i have the tail which i cut into the shape with the wing there and then pretty much i only have two spacers in between that and the background which i ended up settling on using the starry night sky and then when everything's done i should once it's glued and dry, I should be able to layer it together like this. Where it's sticking out and I'm going to try to get like it popping up going forward. And it should look pretty good. But uh, let's glue everything together and see how it turns out. Oh, and originally I was going to do the 3D name tag as well as changing the symbol as well as the level stars. But I think if I were to go through with that plan it might end up looking a little bit too much, but I'll see once I have everything glued together just to see what it looks like and then I'll go from there. All right, so everything's already glued together and I just wanna talk about the finishing touches is that I'm gonna opt against sticking the 3D name on there just because I really think it looks a little bit more clean without it. I actually wanna point out also that Cutting out the level stars as well as the element logo actually doesn't work that well because if you tried to do that actually what would happen is on as you see here it actually crinkles it up where like the moment you cut near it it actually starts folding so I don't think it's possible. So my finishing touch here now is going to be that I'm going to figure out how I'm going to glue the Stardust Dragon on there and yeah, let's just see the results.
finally done. So a few things that I wanted to note down. I did end up having a lot of Stardust Dragons left over. I think in total I used maybe like six or eight of them. And I did end up using the hollow version of one of them, which I used to cut out the body, which I think turned out really, really good. Originally, I wasn't going to do it, but then it actually does add a lot to have like a little bit of the hollow foil surrounding the edges as well as like on the body as well. Too. I think it ended up looking really good. I probably could have used this as the background. But in the end, my original plan was to use the Starry Night Sky card, which I think looks really nice as a background. And it kind of fits the theme as well, too. Things to note down, um, I'm not sure if I spoke of it earlier, was I did cut out the square where the text is. And what I ended up doing was actually cutting out a border as well, too. The reason behind it is because I ended up using a lot of super glue to just kind of glue the cards together because the stick glue just wasn't working and the cards were separating but it did add a little bit of effect to it so which wasn't bad um as for things i feel like i could have done better i did feel like i could have added like a, an extra head to make it pop out more or i was going to cut out a hand or an extra leg as well too to make it a little bit more 3d but the problem with that is same as like if i were to do the star or the name the more complicated it got, the worse it kind of looked where I feel like some of these things like sometimes less might be a little bit better. Of course, at the end of the day, it's just like a preference thing. The more you want to add to it, it's just you could do whatever you want. But for me personally, I felt like it looked good the way it was. As for time wise, the trip pinch, I think took me like a good six to eight hours because it was my first time doing it. Whereas the Stardust Dragon might have not took me as long because thickness wise it was way less thicker just because with the way the wings were how I put it in the forefront if I were to make it thicker and deeper it wouldn't look as good because it would just be too far back and it just wouldn't work as well as the deeper it went because of how the hollow background is the deeper it is the more the background wouldn't show. For me, that kind of bothered me, so I ended up not making it as dick. Um, as for how I actually ended up getting the Stardust Dragon attached to the whole thing was I super glued it to the actual wing on the right. And then in the back, I actually had like a piece of foam that I was able to hide on the body. And then I was able to glue it onto the back as well as glue it onto the body and get it going there. But yeah, that's pretty much it. I would say it turned out a lot better than I thought. And I am going to end up putting it in my Yu-Gi-Oh! display case. But yeah, thank you for watching. This is how the Stardust Dragon turned out. I hope you enjoyed watching the whole process and I hope it helps you do your own project as well too. And thank you everyone that's been subscribing. If you haven't already, please do so. Like the video if you like whatever you watched and if there's more things you want to see or you just like the video in general, let me know in the comments. Have a great day.